new watercolor demonstrations. And in our community, we already spent some time before working on the oil painting uh, from the same reference. There's uh, one of the five references that we gave out in October. And some member, they're very, very in love with this. We really want to paint this as well, but this is not the highest, so did not became, did not become the, uh, the learning focus for October for the community. So today I'm going to take this time to go through the uh, process with you how to paint this with watercolor. Okay. So if you have any questions, uh, please uh, put it down uh, under the video descriptions. But before I start this. And I'm going to share with you a news. And I finished a watercolor uh, book. It's a 10 step-by-step -step watercolor tutorial. So I did, uh, I have some in the basics, um, the basic watercolor still life and landscape and portrait. Look at the video descriptions and you can download, uh, download that free digital book. Okay, just look at the video descriptions. It's, it's the link is right at the top. Okay, now we are going to talk about how we're going to paint this with watercolor. What, let's think about, there's some, let's look at the light areas. Uh, take a look at over here. This is the light space on the top over here. Of course, the rose is even more light, right? So, uh, as watercolor painting, you don't want to cover some of the dark area. You can, and you can light up by lifting. And if you use this set of uh, enjoying art brushes, and then you can use this brush to light up the row, which is probably I'm going to do that demonstrations with lifting. And lots of people, they are afraid of lifting up, uh, thinking about you're not supposed to be lifting. Uh, a wipe off uh, some color to return this space to be light. You can, you can, you don't have to set up the rules for yourself. Express it to find what is the best expression with watercolor. Okay. All right. Let's start it. You can start with the uh, graphite drawing. Okay. And if you're a member, you can actually it uh, with me in the uh, Zoom meeting right now. And then if you are a member hearing this, uh, you can uh, look into Patreon and you, you can find the meeting link. So let's take a look. And I'm going to see where's the row coming through. That's uh, oh, right over here. You can use graphite pencil. Okay. I'm just over here to do that or that brush. Okay. And if you're looking for this set of brush, it's just looking also in the video description is video um, descriptions. You can find that link over there. Okay. And if there's the wrong line, you can wash it off. Let's just put it simple. And okay. So there's the, uh, the path would be kind of focal point. It's the focal point and not kind of, okay, over here. And then we're going to take a look at this space, we're going to have two dark uh, uh, trees on this side and a few over here. Okay, we need to take a look at the composition. It's very, very important. Okay, and just use this color coming up over here like that. Have some broken like that. This is good, right? You can see this and the hill right over here like that on this side. And coming on over here, coming up. Okay, here you go. That is some uh, branches going into that. So make up your mind in this drawing process is for us to make up our mind uh, how we're gonna use this space. And this side is definitely much darker. So we have a little bit branches, uh, some, some tree trunks, some tree in the back over here. But compare those color, with the color over here would be much lighter. All right, so we're gonna start from the larger area, okay? All right, for example, some darker color, some area, you don't need to leave it, you don't paint around, 
you know the dark color can paint on top of the lighter area, right? So let's do a little bit of testing first. I'm gonna have a little yellow color, okay? That's just the very bright yellow color, right? Take the little red. When you take the color, use the corner of the brush, and here you go, like this. And I don't need to put it all over the place, so just tap on it. See, this is, would be the, actually the yellow color, orange, yellow, right here. And I have some yellow orange color, like that. I use the other side, also brush over. Okay, here you go. Now, think about that. This is some yellow color right over here. Just so, so looking for the larger shape. Don't look at the small details. Okay, the larger shape right here. This is good. And going over, I can actually brush over over here. And the top over there have some yellow color. And very much we're looking for the larger color composition. Okay, making it look fun. Okay, okay, like that. And this is good. So I'm gonna have a little yellow color over here too, like that, coming over and a little bit over here too. Okay, now I'm gonna start adding some, I want you to squint your eyes. If you're not get used to squinting, so please try to squint to see how it look like. Now I'm gonna get the red color, okay? I'm gonna just get the red color, put it right over here, and just use the side of the brush like this. Okay, here you go. There you go, that's good. And keep squinting. I'm gonna have a little bit red color, just tap on it. So tap, tap, tap on the color on it. Like that. And here you go. It will be very, very exciting. Okay, here you go. Some color need a little bit sharper contrast. Some is a little bit more um, a smoother transition. Okay, here you go. Squint, squinting. Okay, look at this side. Okay, now coming over here. I'm gonna have the red, and how you gonna make the color a little bit darker, huh? And if you want the color a little bit darker, you gotta add the blue color into the paint. And you may be thinking about add the blue color, it look like blue, it's not necessary, okay? And, okay, this is good. Now this is all kind of come, come together. Now I'm gonna add some area, and some area, the gray color, I add that a little bit later to break this both sides. Now I'm gonna add a little blue color, okay? I'm gonna get the, get the red, a little bit more red first, okay? Put it right here. Now I'm gonna take the blue color, and I can see this is will be a lot darker, I see that? And have a little bit more deeper red color, and put it over here too. Now we're gonna make it look less flat. Right now it's look pretty flat. You want to have it very, very, er, uh, very layering, that's good. Looking at that is, tap on it a little bit darker area. Okay, now on this side, okay, here we go. And a little bit darker area. Okay, now it looks like a little bit out of control, but no, it's just actually right under our control. I'm gonna get the yellow mixed with the uh, blue color together. I'm gonna take this color and put it over there. It looks like a little bit deeper, right? The green color. So all the three, only the three color, right? All the color we mix is only come out from this three primary color, the yellow, red, and the blue color. They make it much easier to predict and understand, okay? This is good. Now I'm going to, coming over here, I can put this, the same color over here, and also tap a little color over here in the middle. Okay, this is good. And I'm gonna come into the middle over here and also have a little gray kind of color. So here you go. I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, that's good. Like that. And I have a little gray color over here too. See, it looks like a see-through. Right now it's gonna get a little bit more and more interesting. I'm gonna have a little bit also blue, yellow color. Okay, don't be afraid of it. It will be fine, okay, like that. And that's good. Now I'm gonna come down over here and I'm gonna have a little bit, um, I'm gonna wash that a little bit off over here, that's good. Now coming this a little bit, 
little bit gray color like this now as you come down over here now I'm going to change the color a little bit I'm going to have a little bit more yellow I'll wash this too much blue because okay, add a little bit yellow color okay get a little bit red and these two colors together make it orange orange mix this little blue color it look like a little bit more like a brownish color okay get a little bit more yellow okay here you go mix that in yeah, that will be the color we want okay it's just like oil painting sometimes you just consider you are mixing right on the paper uh, right on the canvas in this case it's right on our watercolor paper now here you go I have a little bit more yellow mix it right here okay that's just good and put a little bit color over there and this is good getting there you just squint your your eye looking at it is this you don't have to make your everything looks um, looks uh, realistic at this point I'm gonna take the yellow and a little red I'm gonna come back over here I'm gonna put that right in here have a little yellow color okay put that back in here make it a little bit more and have a little yellow color right here put into the little shape over here this is good like that and take a look at this is, I know it's just a little bit lots of lots of abstract uh, in this but as all the painting started it's supposed to be started with abstract because that is just the larger shape okay okay now take, take a look at the front over here that this is a little bit more like a, a gray color I'm gonna put it back over here like a little gray get a little red here you go okay don't be afraid if you haven't done this before that means perfect for you try it okay that's that's good coming over here now this is the side and that's good like that and I'm gonna have a little bit a little bit gray a little bit like a little bit more like a yellow orange color right on the road over here and uh, back over here just use the tip of this brush and here you go okay that's good that's good like that okay okay right now it's still a little bit too early I'm gonna use the two brush do you have a two brush an old two brush and you can use it to uh, splash and get ready I'm gonna apply some of the the dots right at the front but right now a little bit too early all right now let's take a look now I still have some white space in between over here I'm gonna uh, use a little bit blue color okay now I'm gonna take a, think about lots of warm color so you have to use some little cooler color and to balance it so I'm gonna have a little blue color I'm gonna come in over here to put into some of the gap that's good like that you can have a little yellow so make it a little bit more greenish okay here you go like that and that's the distance over there and get a little bit yellow and coming back here a little bit okay that's good that's good mm, not bad I'm gonna put a little color over here this area is still wet so it's very easy just the color pushing into it and and would actually uh, make the color to be lighter now what I want to do at this point I'm going to uh, remove some color I'm gonna add some a little bit sharper uh, edges okay so for example I'm gonna make this a little bit softer like right over here like I said make a little bit softer and maybe a little bit orange okay but we're gonna come back with that a little bit later but we're gonna take a look at make a little bit orange color okay not lots of water and let's take a look all right here where I'm going to just use this brush we need to have remove some color okay have some color leave remove it and in order to have it have the new light color in okay if you just add the color and the color is going to get darker and darker because translucent watercolor 
and whatever you put put onto the paper paper is always on top of the other color always darker than the color um, over there so it's making sure you have that okay remove some color and you can add the light color too okay that's good okay uh, the other hand we try to keep it uh, vibrant and keep it exciting okay here you go all right be patient okay if you're feeling kind of I'm a little lost just don't don't be lost okay staying there okay that's good and I'm gonna I'm gonna come back with uh, the calligraphy brush and then I'm going to have some a little bit deeper red color okay first just use the red color just tap on here and here you go step on it so this is the branches here you go and tapping may not be uh, spontaneous and exciting enough so I'm going to use uh, the two brush spray some color and then come back with uh, the the brush painting okay here we go now this is already dry enough now I'm gonna take a look I'm gonna get my O2 brush now what I'm gonna do just wet the brush with a little water and I'm gonna take this just the red color okay put it down are you ready maybe you haven't done this just watch me okay now here we go You got like that spray that on right at the front exciting okay here you go I'm gonna have something a little bit thicker I'm gonna get a little bit thicker so that it it would the dots appear to be smaller there here you go I'm gonna get a little bit more paint here you go like that you're gonna going up over here see this Ooh very interesting isn't it huh okay let's get like that and then I'm gonna get some yellow color as well clean the brush take the yellow color right from uh, the palette over here now I'm gonna take a look at ooh I like that it's definitely abstract okay it's fun okay this is good and I'm gonna clean the well the painting is almost there and we need to come back to do a little bit adjustment and then we're gonna finish the painting and what I want, want to do I'm gonna clean up the edges so you can see a little bit better the whole painting here you go like this here you go that's good this is going to be very fun experiment for you okay that's good now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back and make some adjusting. Okay. Let's see. So, some area over here, I need to make it a little bit darker, right? A little bit deeper. A little bit blue and red mixed into it. That's as good. Now, see that? How, that's how you make the gray color. Blue with the red color. Okay, that's very simple. Now, I'm going to put this right in here. Maybe a little bit cooler, a little bit more blue. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's need a lot more blue. Okay, here you go. Right there. So by adding the color on the outside, you can see a little bit sharper contrast in between that. Okay, I'm gonna also have some over here. Okay, a little bit more blue. Because in this brushes, it has a lot of red already. Okay, have a little bit. <coughs> Like that, it's good. Are you okay? No. Yes, yeah, this is good. Now I'm gonna have that and put a little color in here. Okay, that's good. 
I'm gonna have this, the catch the shadow, lots of catch the shadow over here. So I'm gonna have a little bit more blue. There you go, like that. I'm gonna paint it over. Have a little bit shadow. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker, okay? And that right here. And a little bit over here. And I have some darker color over here too. Got a little bit blue. Blue always make the color look dark. Okay, yeah, like that. That's good. A little bit darker on the top over here. Just don't pay attention to the um, uh, to the object itself. It's just have fun, okay? And think about remove the dark color, the tree trunk will be later, right? So we don't see the tree trunk. We're just looking for, uh, pay attention to those, uh, the trees, the, the leaves. I'm gonna tap those. I'm gonna have this a little tree coming through over here. This is some of the leaves, so the branches right over here. Now I'm gonna have that, putting in here like that. There's something add to it. So this is what this tree actually look like. And over here too, I'm gonna have them a little red color right over here. That's just good. And I have a little bit uh, tree, there's some a little bit more visible like that. That's good. And some a little bit more coming here. Okay. Well, I think this is pretty good is so far. And and gonna have a little bit few more over here. Okay, and I'm gonna come back over here to add a little bit more um, greenish gray color. Okay. Not too green. So I have add a little red in it. This is good. So make it less bright. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have this showing at that the edge over here, but not really dark. Okay, you see that? Like that on the side, this little hill over here. And here you go. Like that. And this video is gonna stay on uh, YouTube uh, for the next uh, six days. And then it's going to uh, only showing uh, in the member area which is on our learning center also in uh, our patreon community so if you're no if you're not yet a member okay if you want to please join us try us for a month okay and if that you really like it you stay if you don't you can stop your uh, membership anytime you want okay so if you want to experience to see how all our club activities, our face-to-face uh, -face on Zoom learning experience, so come in to try it, okay? And I, this is good over here. And I can have, that's a suggesting the hill over here. I'm gonna have a little bit more red color right over here too, okay? I can see that. There is a, some, here you go, some, there's a little tree on the top over there. Okay, like that. I'm gonna have a little few more. Okay. Okay, this red color have a little bit uh, opacity, so it can cover uh, in some degree. Okay, that's good. All right, now, now this is the, the, the fun time. Now let's take a look. And we're going to mix some really dark color. How do you mix the very dark color? Now lots of people thinking about, okay, all right, I'm gonna get the black. You don't need to have the black paint. In our palette, there's only the three primary color, right? So it just use the two dark primary colors together with the red and the blue color. It will become a very, very dark. Can you see that? This is very, very dark. Now, I'm gonna take a look. Now pay attention from here. Now I'm gonna do this tree first. I'm gonna from the bottom over here, it's coming up. And from here, here you go. Now a little bit, a little bit, like over here and have a little bit broken 
and, and let's take a look and coming down after we have those three those three trunk it the thing will look very different okay coming right here and at the bottom it will be a little bit thicker right that's just one and I'm gonna continue doing this one I'm gonna have this blocking uh, the the tree trunk a little bit more so I'm gonna have this start over here blocking and and skipping like that skipping and take a look at that skipping a little bit and here you go coming down take a look at here's good Okay, that's good. If you're a little bit afraid of making the decisions, and we have a brush art club, as member in the member level can join. So hopefully, uh, members can come to participate in our different club. We also have portrait club. We have all different kind of activities through the week. Each week so hopefully member is going to get the most from this experience now I have three two over here we're gonna come back to do those uh, small uh, let's continue on the big one now take a look at this one I'm gonna have this one at the front coming up and start over here a little bit smaller right and coming down here you go. Coming over here, I'm gonna go through this, not go through this, skip this a little bit, and coming down a little bit bigger. And here you go. We're gonna keep this only this big. This is fine. I'm gonna coming over here, and this is the. That's good. And we can add a little bit over here. Here you go. Uh, up over here like that slow down okay have a little bit coming here this brush can really create different sizes of uh, very good like that that's good all right, getting there, right? We're gonna come back with the detail a little bit later, a little bit more detail. And remember what we talked about this few weeks, how to do trees. So you add the red and it'll become the autumn. But the way the tree is also important. Now, keep going. Now I'm gonna do this one. Okay, here you go. Coming this one a little bit thicker. Yeah, coming right over here make a little bit different okay here you go like that okay look before you make decision that's good and this continue up over here that's good okay now, small trees on this side. Those may not be that visible, right? Here we go. You see the foundation is very, very important. That is the color behind, okay? And here you go. Now I'm gonna have this coming down over here. Okay, here you go, like that. A couple more. And this is one over here. Here you go, like that. I can hear you. Yeah, having fun over there washing brushes okay here you go like this that's good now we're gonna come back to um, do a little bit lighter and the one in the middle over here right they're not really that dark okay just a little bit lighter here you go I know lots of her uh, lots of friends on uh, YouTube has been following watching for number of years okay so maybe the time for you to join us and I need your help 
to be able to bring the community to the next level. Uh, we're going to do in the future. We're going to do lots of face-to-face -face meeting for members, and lots of learning interactive. Okay, but without your support, we difficult to move forward. Okay. Now we we'll move a little bit more. Coming here, you see that those a small tree in the distance. And think about the, the distance, okay? Not all the everything, so the same distance in between. So it's some a little bit apart, some a little bit closer, okay? You can modify it right here, like that. There you go, that's good. And you gotta have fun. And we have been working our whole life for a job or for a company and maybe for someone else now is the time for us to enjoy what we do okay here you go like that some tree over here okay see some broken on the top over here like that this is good and also some small tree over here. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna come into add some other. Here you go, a little bit smaller. I'm gonna mix a little bit more blue with the red color. And here you go, a little bit more blue. Here you go, there's two color together. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have this up. Okay, like that. Okay, some are uh, not connected. No, hey, actually, can, you can be creative. Okay, you have, don't have to be, just draw what the reference look like. That's good, like that. That's good, a little bit over here. And now, that's good, a little big shape over there. You can see a little big shape over here, and here you go. And I have a little bit branches like coming here. Okay, drag over. That's good. A little bit curve. That's good. Like that. Okay, that's good. And some little thinner line, some little bit thicker. Okay, that's good. I have a little line coming all the way on this side. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna come back here to give a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna lift up a little bit. Okay, for the row, I need to do something first. I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow orange color. So it's very light. I'm gonna have it all the way coming here. Shade it a little bit. Okay, here you go. There. Look at the color on the row and I'm going to do a little lifting I'm going to use this uh, fry brush just 45 degree to the paper I'm using the arches what I call the paper cold press okay now you see that I can uh, reshape that clear that a little bit I'm going to have this use this corner move that a little bit more deeper like that Okay, this is good. I'm gonna have this a little bit more deeper coming in here. We move a little bit more. Just use the corner of the fry brush. This is good. Now I'm gonna have this. Okay, this is okay. Now I like the light color. I like the light color. I'm gonna have a little bit more light color here. And if I remove this color, just make it a little bit lighter. It's showing that actually this branch, it actually there. That the leaf a little bit more uh, lighter over here. And we can have, I think that's fine. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter over here too. So I want it to be lighter. You have to remove some color in order to put the light color in. Or you can use gouache. You can use gouache paint and you just paint the yellow uh, gouache color on, that will be fine too. 
Okay, so that's good. And in that case, they will call mixed media. And what we're using now is only the translucent watercolor. Okay, this is good. And I'm gonna have, I think this is pretty good. Over here, that's good. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit, a uh, little bit detail in here. I'm gonna have a little bit more, there's a little bit orange color. Let's get there a little bit details, maybe a little bit brighter, a little bit red color. Seeing this tree, and this have a little bit more red onto this side. Okay, here you go, like that. That's good. So this tree have a little bit more volume. So I'm gonna have a little bit, a little bit. Come on, this is good. A little bit gray color, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna have this area have a little bit brighter. Okay, yellow and a little red this is good i'm gonna make this a little bit more more clear okay that's good that's good now i'm gonna add a few lines so i'm gonna have some really really thin line okay here you go okay a little bit thin line coming out over here that's good you see that there's some of the tree over here, and it can come up like this. There you go, this is good. Okay, I also have a little bit dark color on this side. I also see a little bit. That's the little tree trunk for this tree, right over there. I think this is good, right? Pretty nice and a little bit gray color, okay? For the things that really close to us. So I'm gonna have a little bit, a few line like this for the small tree at the front over here. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna have a little bit uh, dark color with the blue and the red color together. I'm gonna have this, a little bit thin line coming down like this, a little bit curve. That's good. That and come back on the top over there. I'm gonna just have the yellow color because I already remove our, the color so I can, this area very much light and just put the yellow color over there make it a little bit brighter. Okay, this is good. Yeah, a little bit brighter. That's good. Okay, that's good. And uh, I'm gonna add a little bit gouache color, okay? Just to make it a little bit more opaque. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this uh, gouache titanium white. Okay, I'm gonna have, add a little bit gouache white in here. Okay, and I'm cleaning my brush. I don't want the white carrying on over here. So I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow put it right here and put a little red. Okay, that's good. So it just this two color may not be strong enough to stick out on the, um, you know, uh, in the dark. Okay, you have to use a little bit uh, opaque, a little bit more opaque. So I'm gonna do that right here. I'm gonna see that. I'm gonna have some over here and like this. A little bit on top of that. If you want, you can use the two brush to do that too. So here you go. And just look at where that is supposed to be. So this is a lot more opaque. That's good, but don't overuse it. Okay, just use a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, here we go. And a little bit over here and a little bit over here okay a little bit lighter here you go okay that's good a little bit sharper and put it right in front of the the tree trunk i'm gonna have a little bit more red 
take a little red over here. Here you go, a little red right over here. Let's see. And that's good. Okay, have a few over here. Okay, that's make definitely make a difference. This is good and have some at the front over here too. And a few. Right, you like it? Okay, that's good. And a few. Okay, we don't want to overuse that. So this is good. The front over here, I'm gonna just do a little bit overlay wash. Have a little bit brownish color, so it's getting yellow. It need to be an opaque color. The little yellow, a little bit blue, right? Here you go. Like that, and I'm gonna just wash over here. Make this area more like a catch the shadow and also have a little bit more clear. And this is one shape over here. This is good over here too. And I'm gonna have, now gradually, we give a little bit more organ organizing. This is a little bit more, a little bit more red over here. This is good, like that. This is good. Right, perfect. And I'm gonna have a little red coming over here. This, and here you go. Okay, give a little bit more indication, like that. This is great. Now, I will call this painting finish. So if you have any questions, please put it into the uh, video descriptions. I will come to take a look on YouTube. And also, uh, please uh, download their uh, free eBooks and, and follow with us, okay? Now over here, I can see that a little, maybe a little bit more over here too. I have a few. Right, it's beautiful color. Isn't it, huh? And thank you very much for being with me spend the last 40 minutes. Okay. Yo. Hey, how are you, Peter? Yeah, good. Uh, how about using the watercolor titanium white? Yeah, already, no, what that means is the garage titanium white. 